fitness gamer says sugar is just a carb you need some of it what's your opinion on freely the banana girl she gets a lot of sugar point number one yes it's true that sugar is a carbohydrate i'm not arguing with you on that but what i will argue is that the source of carbohydrate matters when you talk about a carbohydrate that comes from brown rice, from quinoa, from a fruit, when you talk about a carbohydrate that comes from eating a natural food, this is a totally different carbohydrate than simple sugar or refined sugar or the typical white sugar that you get in a packet, the sugar that you see on ingredient labels wherever it's at, the high fructose corn syrup. What I think is maybe the, well, maybe not the biggest, one of the biggest up there among the biggest travesties in the area of health and weight loss is this idea that a calorie is a calorie and a carbohydrate is a carbohydrate. The if it fits my macros kind of thing that says, oh, we're just gonna look at the macronutrients and then whitewash together the macronutrients into different categories because that's the only differentiation that matters. Now, if looking at the scale is really all you care about, then those if it fits my macros type diets can be effective for you. If you actually want to live longer, have more energy, feel better in your body and be healthy, you need to consider the sources of your macros. And you need to understand that a carb is not just a carb. And the carbohydrates that you get from high fructose corn syrup and refined sugar are just not the same as the carbohydrates that you get from eating brown rice. Now, chemically speaking, yes, there's still carbohydrates, but there's a huge, huge difference, all right? Um, so, Freely the Banana Girl. Here we have an example of someone who, um, who's doing what I would consider an extreme diet, which basically just means that she's eating in a way uh, that's, that's very different from the average, right? I mean, she's eating a huge amount of carbohydrates um, with a very limited amount of fats and proteins. Now, that really and truly kind of uh, does not fit in with my idea of a healthy diet for a couple of reasons. Um, number one, I think it's too much carbohydrate and not enough fats and proteins. As a certified holistic health coach, uh, where the emphasis is on a holistic approach to the body, um, achieving balance, it's all about balancing things rather than going extremely high carb or extremely high protein or extremely high or low this. I recommend you stay in balance. I recommend you don't go too extreme in any of those areas and you aim to achieve a sense of balance of those different macronutrients as well as the other micronutrients and things that we also need. Now, granted, she's very, very skinny. I'm not saying that what she's doing doesn't work to make you skinny. But for me, I care more about just being skinny. I want to be healthy. And unfortunately, I don't believe that that fruititarian style diet is really that healthy. Now, if you have someone who lives a really healthy lifestyle, they work out all the time. They've been eating very carefully their whole lives. They stay away from junk food, fried food, fast food. That's going to make that person healthy. Right. And there's a lot of different ways to get to the goal, whether it's weight loss or health or whatever. There's not just one diet that I think everyone has to follow. And on that same token, there's a lot of different diets that can help you get to that, get to that goal. Um, when someone asks me if I recommend that they do the Freely diet or the Fruititarian diet, 
You know, I think that number one, we have to understand that just because something works for one person doesn't mean it works for everyone. But if you are going to try to do that thing that person does, you can't just do the one thing. You need to kind of look at their whole lifestyle and see what they're doing. So when you look at Durian Ryder and Freely, they spend a lot of time working out, right? They're very, very, very physically active. So if you're going to try a fruititarian diet, eating huge amounts of carbohydrates, you need to be really, really active. And if you're not, then you're probably going to gain weight. Because what makes them so, so skinny is that they're burning off all of that sugar that they eat all the time. You know, understand that your body is a product of your whole lifestyle, not just one minuscule aspect of it. Um, Again, you know, I'm into balance. I'm into a natural diet. I'm into listening to your body's cravings rather than forcing yourself to eat in a certain way that is very extreme. I'm not saying that doesn't work, and I'm not saying it's not working for her, all right? And I'm not saying that it can't work for you. I just think that it's important that we look at these things with a sense of of realism um, and understand that you can't just isolate the little thing down. You know, if you want to have the results that she has, you need to live the way that she lives. And a lot of people can't do that. You know, most of us have, you know, day jobs and we're busy and we have stress and we have families and we have all these things that are kind of prevent us from being able to be so active. Um, So I think for the average person, eating that many carbohydrates and eating that much sugar is just really not going to be, um, number one, practical, number two, uh, affordable, and number three, healthy.